Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this pineapple jar cozy. How fabulous is this? I love this stitch so much. This is like a diamond trellis stitch and it is using treble crochet stitches. It's so interesting and it's a very cool concept so I can't wait to show that to you. And you, all you need is this just yarn and a jar and I'll get into the supplies real quick here. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. This is Marley Bird's fabulous chic sheep yarn. This is 100% merino wool and I love working with this yarn so much. Go to redheartyarns.com and look up the chic sheep yarn. There are so many beautiful colors also that you can use. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you using this green color which is called Polo. And then the yellow tone, this golden yellow is super fabulous. I love this color. It is called Mimosa. So we're going to use those two colors today. And we are also going to be using a G-sized crochet hook. Now this fancy crochet hook is from the Etsy shop, would be fancy. This crochet hook is hand carved, it's ergonomic, and it's wooden. It's a wooden handled crochet hook. And you hold it like I hold mine like this, or you can hold it if you hold your crochet hook like a pen. It's super easy to use and I love it so much. You can get these at the Etsy shop, would be fancy. I will link it in the description of this video so you can see uh, where to get those. I definitely recommend those, especially if you're crochet for a long period of time like me. You're also going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn and sew the leaves on and sew in your ends of this pineapple jar cozy. You're also going to need a jar or you can use a travel mug or some type of mug or a bowl, like a tall bowl or just a container really. It's super simple. We're just making this a tube. As you can see the bottom is open so it's just a tube and then the leaves. Very simple project and I absolutely love it. It would look great on my office desk with my pencils in there. How lovely is that? So that is all the supplies you're going to need today and um, yeah I just have to say Check out the links in the description of this video. You'll get all the supplies in there and the free written crochet pattern is on yarnutopia.com so make sure you check that out. I have to say a big thank you to my dad for filming this tutorial, big thank you to Red Heart, and big thank you to you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube before you watch the rest of this tutorial. <laughs> all right, let's get started and make this pineapple jar cozy. All right, we're gonna start out with our yellowy color and we are going to start off with like four to six inches of strand first and then make your slip knot about six inches in. So we're gonna take that strand, put it over our long end and then fold this down and then pull your long end that's attached to your ball of yarn through and pull tight and that will create your slip knot just like this, okay? We're gonna use this long strand here for a little bit of sewing we're gonna do later. So now we can insert our hook into this loop and we are going to start off by chaining 38. Okay, you can chain any multiple of four plus two um, to wrap around a mug or a jar or a bowl or something. You can chain four, any multiple of four plus two. So I'm gonna chain 38, just yarn over, pull through, just like this. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I won't make you watch me chain 38, so I'm just going to do that and then I'll come right back. Alright, so your chain should look like this. We are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and in each chain across. This is row one. So the loop on the hook does not count as anything. So count one and two. The second chain right here, right there. What I like to do is turn my chain toward me and you can see these back ridges here. I like to work into these back ridges. So let's go into the second chain right here, then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. That's a single crochet. So go into the next chain, the back ridge, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. Single crochet. Okay, so we're just doing that in each chain across here. And once you've done that, I'll come back and we'll go on to row two. All right, just finishing up row one here, single crochet across. So this is what your work should look like now. 
And at this point, we are going to, without tur uh, twisting this piece, we're going to bring this piece back around to the beginning. And we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet right here. So go into that stitch. And then with your working yarn, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So that long strand that we had right here is going to sew this closed because it's kind of separated right there. So we're going to do that later. But going on to now round, we're going to be working in rounds now. So round two, we are going to chain up two, one and two. Now that does not count as anything throughout this whole pattern. That's just getting us to the height we need. And in this row or round, we are going to double crochet into each stitch around. So yarn over, go into this very first stitch that we just slip stitched into, and yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's a double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just doing that in each stitch around. This is round two. So I'm going to do that, and then when I come back to the beginning here, I will come back on screen and we'll go on to round three next. All right, just finishing round two here. Now, I counted my stitches at this point. I have 38 stitches. If you have 37 stitches, that's okay. What we're going to do is slip stitch into this first double crochet stitch right here. So ignore this chain up two stitch right here. Just go into the double crochet stitch and slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And now we can go on to round three. So round three, we are going to start making our diagonal stitches here. So what we're going to do is chain one, so yarn over, pull through, one. And what we're going to do is we're going to work in the stitches on round one down here, okay? So we are going to skip this first one. You can see the single crochet right here. We're going to skip this first single crochet, and we're going to go into this next single crochet for a front post treble crochet stitch. So yarn over. Okay, or actually yarn over twice, sorry. Yarn over twice, go down to round one here, around the second single crochet stitch, just like that. Okay, and then yarn over and pull it through. Okay, pull up a little bit, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over and pull through those last two loops. And that is your front post treble crochet stitch. Awesome. Now, that treble crochet stitch was basically worked into this first stitch that we just slip stitched into on the round. So we're not going to be working into this stitch, okay? We're going to go into this next stitch up here on round two. Right here, we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So right here in this stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, the next stitch is two, and the next stitch is three. Okay, just like that. Now what we're going to do is make a front post treble crochet two together stitch. <laughs> okay, so how we're going to do that, we are going to yarn over twice, and we're going to go down to the stitch that we just made on the second single crochet stitch, so this previous stitch. So go down over here to this stitch, around this stitch, just like that. Just the, the one that we uh, just made this treble crochet stitch around. Okay, so let me do that again here. My yarn got tangled. So yarn over twice, go back over to the stitch that we made our previous front post stitch on. Then yarn over and pull through. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two more loops. But now we're going to leave these last two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over twice again. Okay. We're going to skip three single crochets down here on row one. So one, two, three. We're going to skip those three. Go into this next one here. So this fourth one. We're going to go on this side of it, around it just like that. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two more loops. 
And now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And that is a front post treble crochet two together stitch that makes that. Okay, so that's all one stitch there. <laughs> it's really cool. So now that stitch is basically worked into this stitch right behind it, right here. Okay, so this stitch we're not going to be working into because this stitch is actually this treble crochet stitch that we just created. This treble crochet two together stitch. So instead, instead of working into this next stitch right here, we're going to work into the next three stitches up here. So we're going to go into this next stitch right here and make our single crochet. So yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So there's one next stitch, two, next stitch, three. Okay, and we're just going to repeat then this stitch and these three stitches all the way around. Okay, so we're going to go yarn over twice, go to the stitch where the previous treble crochet stitch ends right there. So go around that stitch down there, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two more loops, but leave those last two loops on your hook and yarn over twice. Skip three stitches on round one. So one, two, three. Go into this next stitch, the fourth stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then you have the three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. And there's your stitch. So that stitch right there is considered to be worked right in this stitch here, which is our next stitch on this row. So we're not going to work in that one. We're going to go into this next one right here. And see how my yarn, my working yarn is on this side of my hook? We're going to go in, yarn over with that working yarn, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And we're going to do that in three stitches. So there's one, next stitch is two, and next stitch is three. All right, so we're just going to repeat that sequence all the way around now. So we're going to make our next front post treble crochet two together stitch attaching to this one, and then the fourth stitch over here, and then single crocheting in the next three stitches. Okay, so if you need to rewind this to see how I made this stitch and these three stitches, do that all the way around. You can rewind this and check that out. Otherwise, um, just continue with this pattern all the way around, and then I'll come back and we'll go on to round four next. All right, when you come back around and you do your last um, treble crochet two together front post stitches and then the three single crochets, you should have one stitch left. And what that stitch is actually going to be, it's going to actually be eliminated in the end because we're going to make a front post treble crochet stitch on this stitch back here to make our last diagonal stitch but that's going to connect to this stitch so in the end this stitch gets eliminated and I'll show you exactly what I mean. We're going to yarn over twice, go around to the stitch where our previous treble crochet stitch is around right here, yarn over and pull through, yarn over pull through two loops, yarn over pull through two more loops. Now there's two loops on your hook. What you're going to do is go underneath this post stitch right here, go under around the post just like this and then yarn over and pull through this pull through both loops on your hook and oops I lost my loop there but pull through everything and that creates this stitch and you won't really even see this stitch here because these two are together and in the next round you'll really you really won't see it because we're going to do a double crochet round next so round four is next so you should actually only have i think 37 stitches 36 stitches here okay so if you want to count around you can we're going to chain up two but again that does not count as anything and instead of working into this stitch right here, because you can't really even see it, it's back here, it's right there. We're not even going to work into that, okay, because you won't even see it. We're going to work into the next stitch. So yarn over, go into this single crochet stitch right here, and double crochet. 
okay just regular double crochets all the way around so double crochet in the next stitch so yarn over once go into the next yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and just do that in every single stitch around okay there's no front post stitching or anything like that just regular double crochets I'll do that and then I'll show you how to do round five next all right, so I do have 36 stitches around that does not include this chain up too because this does not count as a stitch. So we're going to slip stitch into this first double crochet, yarn over, pull through and through, and we can go on to round five. So let's chain one, and we are going to single crochet into these first two stitches. So the stitch that we just slip stitched into, single crochet in there, and then single crochet into the next stitch. And now what we're going to do is make the diamond shape. So we are going to make a treble crochet two together stitch going from here to here, okay? And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to yarn over twice, okay? Go around the whole stitch. So this whole, these, it looks like two stitches here, but this is an entire stitch right here. So we're gonna yarn over twice, go around the entire stitch Okay, so it's basically both treble crochets because it's a two together stitch, so it's considered one in this pattern. Yarn over and pull through that, then yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. But leave the last two loops on your hook, yarn over twice, go to the next front post treble crochet two together stitch, and go on this side of it around both of those, okay, around the whole thing, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now you have your three stitches, or three loops, sorry, yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. All right, next we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. Now the stitch behind this treble crochet two together stitch right here does not count because this treble crochet is basically worked in front of it. So we're gonna skip that and go into this next one right here. Okay, just like that. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, here's two, and here's three. And we're going to repeat now from this point into this, these three stitches all the way around. So let's make another front post treble crochet two together stitch. So yarn over twice, and we're gonna go around this one here that we the previous one is around. So go on this side of it, around the whole thing, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over twice again, go around the next one, around the whole thing. Just like that, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Do not work in this next stitch right here in the back because this treble crochet stitch is basically that stitch. So go into this next one here and single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And you can see that the diamond is created. There's two diamonds there already. How cool is that? So we're gonna do that all the way around now. So I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round six next. All right, when you're finishing round five here and there's two stitches left, we still have to make a uh, treble crochet two together front post stitches and then we have one stitch left. So let's make our uh, front post stitch here, our uh, decrease. It's not really a decrease, but it, it's a two together, so. Let's start it on this one, whoopsie. And then yarn over twice, and now we're gonna go to this very first one here where our first stitch is right here, where our first treble two together stitch is. We're gonna go around that one, that whole thing. Oh my goodness, it's kind of difficult because it's the whole stitch, so you have to basically go around two stitches. So it's kind of hard to grasp all the yarn. <laughs> And then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to finish that one. And then we have one stitch left. We're going to single crochet into the very last stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet right here. So this chain one, you can barely see it, but it doesn't count as anything. So just go into the single crochet, yarn over, pull through, and through. 
And that was round five. And you can see the diamonds are showing really nicely. Cool. So now going on to round six, we are just going to chain up two, one and two. And round six is a repeat of round four. So we're just going to double crochet into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into and double crochet into each stitch around. So very simple round here. Just double crochet around and then I'll come back. I'll show you how to do round seven. All right, when you finish round six here, we're gonna slip stitch into this first double crochet stitch right here, yarn over, pull through and through. And then we're gonna chain one and go on to round seven. Now for round seven, as you can see right here where we start, we're in the middle of this previous stitch here where there's like a dip. So we are actually going to start this round with a treble crochet two together stitch right here. So that will create a diamond right here. So we're gonna start this round that way. So yarn over twice, go to this stitch, which is the, basically these two stitches. It's, it's one stitch, but it looks like two stitches to me, so I just keep saying these two stitches. So yarn over twice, go on this side of the stitch, around just like that, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Hold those other two loops on your hook, yarn over twice, go to the next treble crochet two together stitch over here, around the whole thing, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now we have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops, okay? Now as you can see where we chained up one and where we made this treble crochet stitch, that is our first stitch right there. So we are not going to work anything in there, but we are going to go into this next stitch and make sure your working yarn is on this side of your hook. We're gonna go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two loops. And we're gonna single crochet into three stitches. So one, two, and three. And now we're going to just, you know how to do the pattern that's established already. So now we're in the middle of this dip right here. So we are going to yarn over twice, go on this side of this one that we just worked around, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over twice again, leaving those other two loops on your hook. Go around this next stitch, this next treble crochet two together stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And again, in the back here, this stitch is basically where the treble crochet stitch would be the treble crochet two together stitch. It's just so long to say. <laughs> so instead of working in there, we are going to work in this next stitch here and single crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. And repeat that then all the way around so you can make your tops on each one of these diamonds. So we're closing these diamonds up here. So I'm going to do that for round seven and then I'll come back and show you round eight. All right, once you make your last front post treble crochet stitch there, we have three stitches left. We're going to single crochet into the last three stitches and then slip stitch to the uh, front post treble crochet stitch that we, or front post treble crochet two together stitch that we had in the beginning here. So go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through and through. And that was round seven. So you can see that closed the diamond. So now we have two sections of diamonds. How cool is that so far? Okay, so now we want to do a double crochet row. So chain up two, double crochet into this front post uh, treble crochet two together stitch, just like that. And then double crochet into each stitch around okay so again same amount of stitches 36 stitches at this point all the way around so we're going to do that and then i'll come back and show you how to do the rest all right so i just finished round eight i'm going to slip stitch to the first double crochet right here yarn over pull through and through Okay, so now at this point, I'm going to leave you on your own. What you're going to do, you can rewind this if you need to, but we were going to repeat, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. Round five is this round here where we single crocheted in the first two stitches and then made our diamond um, top here. So round five, six, 
seven, and eight. Okay, so five, six, seven, and eight. This V, or this, um, they look like V stitches here. These treble crochet stitches here, round five, round six, round seven is also the treble crochet round, and then round eight is the double crochet round. So round six and round eight are the um, double crochet rounds, okay? And round five and seven are the diamond rounds, but they're different. So we're going to repeat rounds five, six, seven, and eight one time, and then you're going to repeat rounds five, six, and seven one more time. So you want to end on a round seven round to close up your treble crochets on the top here so you have your diamonds. I actually have a piece already done off camera here. I want to bring it in and show you. I didn't fasten it off completely, but I have this piece here. So you can see here we did rounds one through eight and then five, six, and seven, and eight, and then another round five, six, and seven right here. This Basically this whole diamond is five, six, and seven, okay? So that's what we did here. So rounds one through eight, then we have round five through eight, and then round five through seven, okay? And once you have this all finished, that would get you 15 rounds total, 15 rows from one to 15. Once you finish round 15 here, and you can follow along with the written instructions that's all linked in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube. And you can see the written instructions are on yarnutopia.com. Once you finish round 15, which is a repeat of round seven, we're gonna fasten off. So we're gonna chain one and cut this yarn, pull it all the way through that chain one and pull tight, okay? And we're gonna sew in our ends and make sure the bottom, I already sewed that in at the bottom there, but this is what your piece should look like, okay? And next, I'm gonna grab some green yarn and we are going to make the pineapple leaves. All right, so for the leaves, we're going to use the color uh, Polo with the Red Heart uh, Chic Sheep yarn, and I'm going to make a slip knot starting out. And for the leaves, we are going to, you can make as many leaves as you want. I'm going to make a total of three. I'll just show you one, and then you can make as many as you want. Uh, we are going to start off by chaining 13. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and that's all. Thirteen. <laughs> I was going to do fourteen. <laughs> okay, chain thirteen. <laughs> then what we're going to do is turn the chain toward us. We're going to use these back ridges to work into, like I showed you earlier in this tutorial on our previous piece. I'm going to work in these uh, back ridges here and in the second chain, okay, so the loop on the hook does not count, so count one and two, the second chain here, I'm going to turn this toward me and I'm going to go into that chain. We're going to slip stitch into there. So yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. In the next chain, we are going to single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. In the next chain, we are going to half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. And we're gonna do the same thing in the next chain. So yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now in the next four chains, we are going to put a double crochet in each one of those. So yarn over, go into this next chain here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops. That's a double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next, make your next double crochet, next stitch, or next chain here. There's our third one. And this next one here, it, oops, I'd redo that one. There's our fourth one. Okay, now in the next two chains, two chains, we are going to put a half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops. Okay, and the next chain also, 
half double crochet. Then in the next chain, we are going to single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. And in the last chain here, we're going to slip stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. We're not done yet. We are going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to slip stitch back into the same chain that we did that we had that last slip stitch in. But what I'm going to do, you can kind of see I'm already starting to twist this down so that we're going to work on this opposite end of this foundation row here. So what we're going to do is slip stitch back into that same chain that we slip stitched into. And then we're just going to make the same stitches across here that are on the opposite side. So this next chain, which is a stitch now, right here, we're going to single crochet. I'm going to work over the top of this little strand here so I don't have to sew it in later. So that's why you see that over the top of there. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, in this next stitch right here, we're going to put a uh, half double crochet, sorry, we yarn over first, then go in, then yarn over, pull through, oops, there we go, then yarn over, pull through all three loops, and the next stitch as well gets a half double crochet. Okay, then in the next four stitches, we are going to put a double crochet in each one of those. So double crochet. Okay, I can leave that back there now. That's pretty much sewn in. Okay, there's two. Here's three. And four. Then we're going to half double crochet into the next two stitches here. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And this next one here, half double crochet. Then we're going to single crochet into the next. And then we're going to uh, slip stitch into the last. Okay, then to fasten off, we're going to chain one. We're going to cut our yarn long for sewing. And then we're going to pull it all the way through that chain one there and pull tight. And there is a leaf. So you can make as many of these as you want. I'm going to trim this um, little strand back here. Also, if you didn't sew this in, you can sew this in underneath your stitches and make sure it's hidden. Okay, and once you have as many leaves as you uh, need. I'm going to grab mine over here. I made three total. We are going to sew these three onto our pineapple. So let me grab our pineapple here. <laughs> this is our pineapple. And we're just going to sew them right at the top there. Okay, so I'm going to grab my yarn needle. And I have this strand here. Cut. Okay, so the long strand that we cut for sewing, we're going to yarn our needle with that. And we're going to position this right at the top here. And we're just going to go into the piece at the top. And then out the piece. Okay. And then back in. And then back out. And you want to end on the inside, so go back in here. Okay, and then flip this around. Go underneath a few of the stitches. And then come back through that loop and pull tight. And then if you want to, you can do that once or twice. It's secure, and then we can sew in this end underneath the stitches so that it's completely hidden just like that and then cut it short okay so there's one leaf awesome and it's kind of curling so you might want to wet it down and then flatten it a little bit if it's curling um, too much for you but we're gonna put one here on the side and then one on the other side so I'm going to have like one sticking straight up and then one kind of tilted sideways like this. 
and just overlapping. So just go in and out. Okay, so I'm just going to sew on this other one and then one more, and then I'll come back when it's all sewn together. All right, so I just sewed these on, and um, like I said earlier, you might have to just wet these down because they might curl a little bit for you, like that. So if you want to just wet them down and pin them down and block them, uh, but there it is! How cute is that? So all the, the last thing you need to do is just, if you want to grab a jar or some type of like coffee mug or some type of like your travel mug or something, let's see, you can <laughs> put this on your mug or your jar and make sure these leaves stand up and then you can put some like pencils or something in the jar how cute is that oh my gosh okay this is gonna kind of bother me but you get the point <laughs> we're gonna I, I didn't wet these down yet so I have to oh my gosh how cute though that looks so fabulous. <laughs> it's a pineapple. <laughs> That's the project. How fabulous. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this pineapple jar cozy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please, if you did enjoy this, if you learned how to make this, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also share your photos on the Facebook page for Yarn Utopia so I can see your fabulous pineapples. I would love to see them. So, all right, everyone. A uh, big thank you to my dad back there for filming this whole tutorial. Big thank you to Red Heart Yarns and Marley Bird for this yarn and providing it for us today to do this tutorial. And a huge thank you to you for always watching and supporting Yarn Utopia. Until next time, happy hooking!